Boxing pros are warning Gervonta Davis to think twice about fighting Frank Martin. They're worried because Davis seems too sure of himself and might not be taking Martin seriously enough. This is a serious request from the pros for Davis to rethink his strategy before it's too late. That Gervonta Davis is underestimating Frank Martin uh, because of all of the stuff that's going on with him uh, and you know going to nightclubs. Davis's swagger and bravado may have served him well in the past, but in the unforgiving arena of professional boxing, complacency can quickly lead to downfall. The experts fear that Davis's dismissive attitude towards Martin could prove costly, potentially resulting in a shocking defeat that would not only tarnish his reputation, but also derail his promising career trajectory. Ryan Garcia, who recently faced Davis in the ring, was unequivocal in his assessment of the potential outcome of a fight between Davis and Martin. This fight might not set the PPV charts ablaze like the Garcia showdown did, but Davis better not underestimate him. The message is clear. Davis mustn't allow his ego to cloud his judgment. Instead, he needs to buckle down and dedicate himself to rigorous training and preparation. It's not just about talking the talk. It's also about walking the walk and putting in the hard work necessary to emerge victorious. David Haney, another prominent figure in the boxing world, also offered his words of advice to Davis. Davis is treading on dangerous waters here. Martin might not boast household recognition, but he's a force to be reckoned with. Davis needs to bring his absolute best or face the consequences. Yuri Orcas Gamboa, who faced Davis in the ring before, also shared his advice for the boxer. Just because Davis has knocked out many opponents before doesn't guarantee the same outcome against Martin. Martin might surprise him and give him a tough battle. With all the boxers who've faced Davis throwing caution his way, it's gotta be playing on his mind. But what's Davis thinking about all these red flags that practically scream defeat? Well, Davis appears unfazed by the warnings, showcasing his typical confidence and readiness for a brawl. In fact, he's been tossing verbal jabs at Martin, asserting that his opponent needs to brace himself for a whole new level of competition. Now the tension between them boiled over during their press conference, with Davis boldly swatting away Martin's attempt at a handshake, igniting a heated exchange that necessitated intervention from security personnel to prevent further escalation. Once again, things heating up already for this main event, the WBA. He's doing a lot of talking. He's trying to show he's a front runner, said Davis. I'm telling you, it's a different beast in front of him. No one that is walking with him will be able to save him on June 15th. Davis's behavior towards Frank Martin has got many people talking. Some wonder why Davis is acting this way. But those who know about Martin's record believe they have the answer. Martin has never lost a fight. He's won all 18 of his matches, and I think that's impressive. It has made him one of the best lightweights around. So Davis is probably feeling a bit challenged by Martin's success. He wants to prove himself against someone who's been doing really well in the ring. Davis's strong words suggest he's not holding back against Martin. He seems to be saying that all his anger and aggression will be directed at him during their fight. Some might see his comments as sarcastic, with Davis even apologizing in advance to Martin for what he's about to face in the ring. Two he dogs. I'm from the suburbs. I don't, from no motherfucker. Me and him don't got nothing in common. You don't know me. Fuck but, you talking but, about. But the little female crazy. he got. That's, that's the problem. But that little female he got, oh, she probably around here somewhere. <laughs> I'll catch up with her. Hey, hey, hey. Little female. Okay. Hey, okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that, let's move on. Listen, this is a tremendous fight. On the other hand, Ellerby, the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, has issued a public warning directed specifically at Frank Martin. He cautions Martin that there's a big gap between fighting and sparring with Gervonta Davis. This message comes after the two had a sparring session where both fighters brought their A-game, showing their skills and determination. But again, I'll say this again, none of them guys can fuck with Tank Davis. During this interview, Ellerby's admiration for Frank Martin is evident in his words. He commends Martin for his standing as one of the top lightweights in boxing. However, Ellerby also expresses his confidence in Gervonta Davis, implying that despite Martin's skill, the outcome of their match will ultimately favor Davis. Ellerby is pumped up about the upcoming Davis versus Martin showdown. He's expecting a thrilling battle, especially since it marks Davis's return to the ring. The fact that it's all going down at the renowned MGM Grand adds to the excitement. Ellerby's anticipation hints at a night of intense boxing action that fans won't want to miss. Again, it's gonna be a great fight for the fans. 
And also with uh, David Benavidez being on this wonderful car, again, you have, you know, those two are the most expo the two most explosive fighters, in my opinion, in the entire sport. Mayweather's perspective on the upcoming Davis versus Martin showdown reflects a cautious optimism. Despite Davis being under Mayweather promotions, Mayweather himself refrains from making any definitive predictions about the fight's outcome. He emphasizes the unpredictable nature of boxing, noting that anything can happen once the fighters step into the ring. While he doesn't guarantee a victory for Davis, Mayweather expresses confidence in Davis's abilities as long as he puts forth his maximum effort. Mayweather's perspective might raise some eyebrows, but knowing Tank, he's not the type to let it get under his skin. He's got a thick skin and doesn't let outside opinions mess with his focus. Instead of getting riled up, he's more likely to use it as fuel to light up his training and prove everyone wrong in the ring. After all, he's got his own vision of success and he's not about to let anyone derail it. Now, Martin appears equally calm and confident ahead of the upcoming bout. In a recent interview, when questioned about his level of assurance, he casually mentioned his experience sparring with Davis. According to Martin, during their sparring sessions, he felt Davis needed to elevate his performance. Why? Because he found it surprisingly easy to land hits on Davis. Martin dismissed the notion that Davis had the upper hand in their sparring sessions. He bluntly stated that Davis's claims were false and that the truth was quite the opposite. Moreover, Martin expressed his frustration with Davis's allegations emphasizing that not only did he have a subpar sparring session due to Davis's bad performance, but he also felt compelled to address Davis's dishonesty. Despite the widespread expectation for Davis to emerge victorious, Martin remains unbothered. In fact, he sees the anticipation of Davis's win as motivation to step up his game even more. Rather than giving to the pressure, Martin views this as an opportunity to prove himself. He's determined to defy the odds and disappoint Davis's fans by securing the victory in their upcoming bout. A lot of people are expecting Tank to win. Does that change your mentality as far as like how you going into it? Shit, sure, nah, it just made me go harder. Yeah. You know, you know that the ones who sleep, there's a lot of people who still sleep, you mm -hmm. know, so what what better fight can I have to wake motherfuckers up besides yeah. this? Of course, Martin acknowledges Davis's formidable punching power as a significant challenge, but he's not letting it intimidate him. While he may not possess the same knockout power as Davis, Martin is confident in his own abilities. He believes that every punch he lands will make Davis feel its impact. Furthermore, Martin underscores his versatility as a fighter, highlighting his ability to adapt and employ different styles in the ring. So yes, the showdown between Davis and Martin is bound to be a clash worth watching. But when the dust settles, who's going to come out on top? Will Davis prove his dominance once again, or will Martin pull off the upset of the century? The only way to find out is to tune in and watch the action unfold. So what's your take on it? Drop your predictions in the comments below.